Woodbury has it. Knocked away by Stewart. Stewart's got it. Now the front court pass to Rivera. Davis with it. Davis shoots wide and he hits it. The Miners win. The Miners win. The last time UTEP beat Kansas, nearly 29 years ago to the day in the 1992 NCAA tournament to advance to the Sweet 16, John Teicher, voice of the Miners, on the call. And believe it or not, coming into tonight's game against Kansas, UTEP holds an all-time series edge over the Jayhawks at 3-1, and one, dating back to 1966, their national championship season. However, tonight's game against Kansas was their first meeting in Lawrence inside Allen Fieldhouse. Kansas looking for a tune-up game ahead of the Big 12 tournament. UTEP playing with nothing to lose. The first half belonged to Bryson Williams. Jayhawks didn't have an answer for him, didn't want to double him either. 11-2 run to start the game for the Miners. Later in the half now, Keontae Kennedy buries a three ball. Miners up double digits. And then just before the end of the half, it's Titus Verhoeven, the reverse lay-in. UTEP was up 14 at the half. They were thinking upset. The same mindset continued in the second half. It's Williams again, this time from deep. 23 points, 13 rebounds for a double-double animal style for Williams. UTEP led by as many as 15, but here come the Jayhawks on their run. David McCormick cuts the lead to single digits. Sule Boom, he would then answer with what was originally ruled a three, later changed to a two. Boom had 16 points, however. It was the last field goal UTEP would make in the game, and here's your ball game. Marcus Garrett, strong take, gives Kansas the lead. Boom, now trying to make something happen, pushing it up the floor, and loses the handle. Kansas ices it at the free throw line, 67-62 the final. You can't go the last four minutes without a basket and expect to win. Conference USA Tournament is up next for the Miners, who finished the regular season 12 and 11. Speaking of the tournament, with Rice defeating North Texas tonight, the UTEP women's basketball team clinches a top four seed in a first round bye in next week's Conference USA Tournament. The Miners finished the regular season 16 and 7, 13 and 5 in league play. You'll see them back on the floor on Thursday at the Star in Frisco.